Why play Pantheon support? Well, he brings tons of damage. He can 1v1 the enemy carry, his roams with ultimate are incredible, and his combos are brilliant and easy to pull off. However, if he falls behind, he struggles to have the damage to assassinate, and he's very all in with very few tools to get out. Pantheon's passive is whenever he lands a basic attack or cast an ability, he gains a stack, stacking up to five times. When fully stacks, his next basic ability will consume these stacks and empower itself, and he fully stacks this at the start of the game, when he backs, and when respawning. Pantheon's Q can be used in two ways. Firstly, the ability can be charged where he slows himself a small amount, and after a short charge, it becomes a long range skill shot. Upon use, Pantheon throws his spear dealing damage and this deals increased damage against enemies below 20% health. However, if this ability is just tapped, he thrusts his spear a small distance forward dealing the same damage and refunding 60% of its cooldown. If this ability is enhanced, it deals additional damage. Pantheon's W is a point click ability which leaps into an enemy dealing damage and stunning them. This ability can also be used as an auto attack reset. If this ability is empowered after use, his next basic attack is empowered to attack three times quickly dealing damage and applying on hit effects. This will instantly give him three stacks again towards his passive. Pantheon's E causes him to raise his shield in a direction making him invulnerable against all non-tower damage from that direction. While doing so, he also attacks in a cone in front of him, dealing damage to enemies hit, and this ability cannot be interrupted by CC. This ability can then be recast to slam his shield in front of him, dealing damage. If this ability is enhanced, he gains a massive burst of movement speed after slamming the shield. Pantheon's ultimate has a passive where he gains armor penetration. The active is a very long-range skill shot where he can choose a point on the map where he then starts to channel. During this time, he becomes immune to CC and he jumps in the air, granting sight of his landing location. After a short amount of time, he then throws his spear to the location, dealing damage and slowing enemies hit, before he crashes down to the point, creating a shockwave which damages all enemies hit, and as he lands after his ultimate, his passive is fully stacked. For combos, start with your empowered W into your three attacks. After this, land Q into an attack, followed up with your E. And if you start with ultimate, try to land the spear throw from the ultimate if possible, and then upon landing, use an auto attack into your W. Follow up with your three auto attacks, Q into E. For matchups, Pantheon is great into enchanter supports who he can easily get onto and blow up. However, he can struggle against supports with great disengage or who can deny a lot of his burst. For runes, take this. PTA is amazing single target damage. For build orders, start shoulder guards and pots into eclipse and tier two boots. After this, a Black Lever and Edge of Night are great pickups before finishing a build with any of these as needed. For skill orders, start W then Q then E before maxing Q then W then E, taking ult whenever you can. For summoner spells, take Flash and Ignite. Starting the game, you're looking to poke hard and look for opportunities to take trades and good all-ins. When looking to poke, your Q is amazing, especially after you've got a few points in the ability. And if you're able to attack minions to build up your passive in between uses, it will deal a ton of damage. Other than this, you want to look for good trades. When you have your passive available, going in with W into an auto attack Q and ending with your E is a massive, massive burst of damage and the movement speed from your empowered E along with the additional shield negates a massive amount of their return damage to you. And if you want to go for the all-in, this movement speed can be used to chase them down instead. When you hit level 6, you either want to ult your lane or ult the mid lane to try and get a kill. Entering the mid-game, you want to take your tower as soon as possible and rotate mid. This will put two strong characters in the center of the map for easy sieging and easy roams. Entering late-game teamfights, you can either play as your team's engage or the assassin. If you're playing your team's engage, start by ulting into the fight, jumping on a carry and using a full combo to try and blow them up as fast as possible. As the assassin, it's almost the same but wait until after the fight has started to go in.